two of my first pickup. Uh, still a little nervous. Good morning. Took me way too long to get out of the house this morning. And, uh, but we're doing this, we're doing this. So yeah, I've got this bag mounted on kind of like a suspension uh, mat, which we'll see how it works. Um, basically, let's see if I can do this right. Basically, I've got it set up where this strap comes off. Just throw that off like that. And then I should be able to just grab it. And then here you have like a little rope bed almost where you can just pop this on. Pop. And then I can just grab this, run it under here. And boom shakalaka. So yeah, this is day two. I had two deliveries last time and uh, they did not go too well. I uh, spilled a uh, Branzino sauce and the pizza got pretty bounced up. So I did these improvements hoping that I'll get some better results. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a Rad Wagon 4 and uh, done some modifications obviously. And yeah, so for now we're just sitting here waiting for deliveries. So anyways, I'm gonna go start moving around, see if I can get some deliveries. And then makes me think, oh, I can come back out and get another one. There we go. Eureka. something I just learned. Don't contact the customer unless you really can't find the door. Like, don't say I'm here, don't say I'm arrived. Just wait till you get there, figure out where the door is. Don't overcomplicate it, you lose your money. Uh, and that's it. Cool, thank you. That was $6.58 for that trip. Yeah, it's fine, keep working. maybe before, uh, they built these hangars for Zeppelins. So big old uh, blimps. And so they would come in here and fix them up and whatnot. And they've basically been in disrepair for probably at least 25, 30 years now. But now they're starting to build housing around it, which is cool, all these ones. But uh, I would love to just see them get kind of fixed up on the inside and turn them into like a cool, Mall or something, you know? I'd be curious to see if I like went up to LA, what kind of work I'd get. Do that in LA, go to, go to San Diego. Is it worth it buying a train ticket? This is to where you start running into some interesting uh, little dif uh, difficulties or technicalities or whatever. Yeah, so I s I'm just sitting down just getting a little bit of a rest and I notice that there's a no trespassing, no loitering sign down there. I 
think there probably was one right here, right in front of me at one point. Um, so, you know, this is a park. There's just grass and a creek and a really nice creek, by the way. But here I am sitting on the bank of this, this uh, creek and I'm realizing that, you know, more sooner rather than later, I'll probably have a policeman come up and talk to me just for sitting here on this bike lane, off out of the lane. But uh, yeah, loitering. So this is kind of the, how the the whole city is structured against people being outside and actually enjoying the space. But I am loitering. Okay, sat here for about ten minutes. Checked my Twitter. Got amped on life again because Twitter keeps me happy about cycling. Might just be confusion and just living in an, an ulterior world or an alternate universe. But uh, maybe one day, you know, biking will be a thing. I think. Anyways, so I'm gonna do a little bike, kick up the power to get myself happy. I'm gonna do a little bit of a scenic route, and uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna be all right. Well, it's a roller coaster of emotion. This job. Um, I got two deliveries that went really well. I got my first, <clears throat> like, real drink, I think. Yeah, first real drink is good. Uh, now I've completed five orders, and I've probably worked almost five hours, probably. And five and five delivery jobs. So this isn't the best, but I think I'll pick up. Yeah, feeling good about this, this, this strap situation. I feel like, um, I feel like it got the food there better and everything's staying warm and I'm getting the cups cut care of and yeah, I'm feeling good. So onward and upward, right? All right.